Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 27, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Alvy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Jury! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fight. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Down the landing clean. Oh, big left hook there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, straight right. So he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Alvy gets caught with that punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. 
Nice work to the body to great effect here, DC. If you're the opponent, I gotta think you lower the guard at some point. Gotta lower the guard. Lower the guard, it opens up the head. Look for the opponent to go back up top. He starts to realize his opponent's now dropping his arm. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this room. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Jerk. Oh, big left hand there. Big shot to the body. He loaded up. Perfect body shot there. He's just unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, big left. Really timing his shots. Oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Oh, big left hook there. And that one was heavy. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. No that one is here to start him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Oh! Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent let's go, very let's go, bad. Come on. Oh, big left. Both guys landing with conviction now. Jury gets the overrun. It does not get much better than that. He wiped him out! Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Jury! Moment and what a mo
You ready? You ready? So all right, so here we are back at the O2 Arena, London, England. We were not here when Leon Edwards confronted Jorge Masvidal backstage, the whole three piece and soda bit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him, and he got a feel that he was not expecting. Let me tell you something, man. When you're in the arena, when you're in the O2 Arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. And he landed the right hand there. Jury strike attempt there is blocked. Alvi's nose is cut, and it is bleak. And both guys really throwing with authority. Double jab there by Alvi. Oh, look at him. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to oh. oh, finish his fight. Vicious combo there. It's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Boom! Big jab. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Jerry. And we got a fight on our hands. In the night. Oh, straight right. Oh! Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Looked like it did stop him a little bit. Back to the feet. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. about that shin. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by knockout, Jules! Smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party. Tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.